Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to another battle vid. Now this one is between the brand new Pixel Buds versus the Galaxy Buds and the Apple AirPods Pro. Now before I continue, just remind you guys, I do have a giveaway on the channel. I'm giving away three iPhone SE, so use the link down in the description to enter and win. Now let's not waste any time and let's check out some AirPods. Okay, so the brand new Galaxy Buds are finally here from Google. They were announced last year with the Pixel 4 uh, and the Pixel 4 XL, and it's taken a while, but it's it's finally here. It's here this week, you can pick it up. Uh, it retails for 179. Now, the question is, how does this stack up against the main players? And I'm saying the best, but the main players, right? Uh, I'm talking about the Galaxy Buds for Samsung, which is uh, widely used by a lot of people, and the Apple AirPods Pro, which is also widely used. Now, the Galaxy Buds resell for about 150, and the AirPods Pro are about 249. So it's a different range in, in pricing here. So let's start off with one of the very first features is the case. You know what, the first time I saw it, I wasn't too keen. When I got to actually hold the case and use it, I actually like it. It's got some heft to it. It's a nice, sort of a matte finish, not fully matte, but it's a much better case feel than the Galaxy Buds and the AirPods Pro. Those are a little bit more glossy and slippery, so um, they tend to feel like they can slip out of your hand. So in terms of cases, I do like the case, and the case offers a couple of features. The ability to just basically snap it open like that and snap it shot. Open shot. You can do it a couple of times. It's just really great. It's awesome. But the cool thing is also that you, as you snap open and shot like that, I'm gonna put my earbuds back. Um, they don't fly out. They don't fly out. They're still there. And I can hang the buds upside down and look, it doesn't fall. So that's actually pretty cool. I like it. The magnetic uh, lock within the case is awesome. The case also has wireless charging, which is equal to what the Galaxy Buds have, as well as also the AirPods Pro. So it's standard across the board. USB Type-C charging, same thing with the Galaxy Buds, and of course, lightning for the AirPods Pro. So in terms of the case, that's where it fits. Now, when you look at the AirBuds themselves, they are rather small. They've got a really small footprint, and I like that look and feel. I thought they looked bigger, especially from the press samples and things like that, but they actually have a smaller footprint and they're nice. They do fit quite comfortably in your ear, so when you put them in, boom. You can see the footprint, it's really small. Look at each side, very nice. I mean, before this, the Galaxy Buds felt like they were the smallest. And when I take the Galaxy Buds and put them in, they're still small in terms of footprint, but just a tad bit larger. And of course, you know what the AirPods Pro look like uh, with their fit, so here they are. Now, when in terms of fit, I will say the best fit um, is between, it's a little tight, it's, it's, a little, it's a little picky. For me, I'll still go with the Galaxy Buds because they give me a better seal all around uh, as opposed to what the uh, Pixel Buds do, but the Pixel Buds are a close second. The AirPods Pro feel kind of loose, not a good fit, and it really just, uh, the noise cancellation really handles that. Now, speaking of noise cancellation, that's where the AirPods Pro have definitely take a win here. They have noise cancellation, the other two do not, and they've also got the transparency mode, which is really nice. Now, granted, the um, Galaxy Buds have a um, kind of like a transparency mode as well as also the Pixel Buds, but the uh, the AirPods Pro really handle that much better. So I'd say active noise cancellation, AirPods Pro, followed by the Galaxy Buds with a better seal, and then, of course, the Pixel Buds. Now, let's talk about things that we really care about, at least for me, audio. How well do they sound? This is often always a subjective matter for a lot of people, but also there are certain levels for you to gauge this too. So when it comes to the low ends, the Galaxy Buds do not have a strong low end. You can actually amp it up with the software, they've got dynamic, they've got a bass boost, which does help out, but it's still not as much. The Pixel Buds definitely have a stronger low end, uh, the low ends uh, and also the mids, that really come out a bit more pronounced. Now the Galaxy Bud has gotten much better with the mids, while the Apple AirPods Pro do have a nice low end and a solid pair of mids. Now when it comes to the highs though, the Galaxy Buds definitely win for me the highs. The vocals do come out well. The Pixel Buds are a bit lower there, so uh, the soundstage feels a little smaller, not as big and robust. Uh, the AirPods Pro have a larger soundstage, uh, but the highs don't come out as well, and the mids tend to overtake that a little bit. 
So putting that all in summary, I've said a lot of things about sound. What I really like, I still will pick the Galaxy Buds as my favorite in sound compared to all three because the highs do come and especially when you listen to vocals. Now, the Pixel Buds though do a really good job. I was quite impressed. The reason I'm saying this is because the very first Pixel Buds that came out a few years ago were not that good. And Pixel has really, and Google's really improved what they've done with audio with the Pixel Buds. So that is a huge Plus, I definitely like that, and I think the sound is great. If you're listening to a lot of bass-heavy music, uh, you listen to a lot of house, trap music, uh, a lot of hip-hop, this really just resounds very well. I think the Pixel Buds do a good job. And for me, the Apple AirPods Pro come in third here in terms of audio quality. They're good, they're not great. It handles everything well, but not to the extent where it pushes certain boundaries. So in terms of audio, I still would take the Galaxy Buds just a slight edge over the Pixel Buds. And then of course, there is the AirPods Pro. But when it comes to mic quality, for me, in a proper conversation, I do like the Galaxy Buds and the AirPods Pro. I think both of them work out really well. The Galaxy Buds to me have gotten much better and improved over time. Uh, I think the AirPods Pro have stayed the same, but I think the Galaxy Bud is my slight edge in terms of microphone. They've really done a huge improvement. The Pixel Buds come in third because I have just noticed some differences in the audio quality in different calls. Uh, sometimes it's been really solid and other times it has been also a little bit wavery. So uh, I think that's a software thing that can fix, but I put them as third when it comes to audio. Here is our final piece that we need to talk about, software. They all have some incredible pieces of software, except say for the AirPods Pro, which is a little bit basic. You have the ability, if you're using your iPhone, to go into the volume settings and manually change between transparency mode, and that's pretty much it, and change, increase the volume. The uh, Galaxy Buds have a little bit more extensive audio there, uh, where you can go in and do a few things. So you can change, of course, your equalizer setting, and it's out of the three, the other ones have an equalizer. You've got a normal, extra bass, soft, dynamic, clear, and treble boost. You also can change your ambient sound and switch that on and off. It shows you a battery indicator. Uh, you've got the ability to do notifications, change of customize your touchpad uh, on there, and you've got some advanced features. You also have the ability to find your earbuds. So the ability to ring about your earbuds if they're missing and find out where they are. Now this you can do, I believe, for just both in total. Now, when you go to the Pixel Buds, uh, what's cool is that this setting is found within the Bluetooth menu if you're on your Pixel. If you're on your Android device or an iOS device, you have to put down the Pixel app, uh, Pixel Buds app, and it's the same uh, function. It shows you your battery, you've got a tutorial, adds in Google Assistant, you do have to find me Find device version where you can actually find your earbuds either left or right. Uh, you've got touch controls uh, showing you how to use them. You can customize those. And then you've got something called adaptive sound, which allows you, which adapts the audio to your environment as well. So you can increase, reduce the volume and things like that. Uh, and uh, you've also got the ability to bring in, use Google Assistant. That's pretty huge. And you can use it hands-free. So you can say things like, you know, hey Google, or you know those, those terms and use this functionality. But it has something also that's pretty cool. It's the notification alert. So if you hear the alert chime, you can press and hold on your uh, one earbud. And once it beeps, it will actually read your notifications for you. So that's a really nice and cool feature. And the hands-free Google Assistant built in is great. So whenever you're walking around, you just basically talk to Google and Google basically tells you what's going on or what you need. If you need navigation settings and things like that, I think that is pretty nice. Now, I think overall, we're looking at a bunch of really cool pair of earbuds. Different price, AirPods Pro at $249, uh, the Pixel Buds at $179, the Galaxy Buds Plus, I kept saying Galaxy Buds, I apologize, but the Plus is about $150. Now, which will I pick and where will the Galaxy Buds stand? I found this a little bit much harder than I thought. Now, before I continue, I gotta mention battery life. In terms of battery life here, the Pixel Buds are rated about five hours uh, per use with the earbuds. Same thing with the Apple AirPods Pro and the Galaxy Buds Plus are nine hours. Now, when it comes to battery life, I think the Galaxy Buds takes the win here, especially with just using each, just your earbuds before you need to recharge them. It goes a long way, nine hours. You can listen for a whole day at work or whatever you're doing and you're good to go. The Pixel Buds, it's about four hours or so, depending on, and the AirPods Pro also come in about that as well. So I would like to see improved battery life there. But where do they stand? 
I have to say though, I might have to push the Pixel Buds as well, wait and see. Let's start off with number three. Uh, number three are the Apple AirPods Pro. They're good, they're solid, they're priced a little too high for my taste for what they do at 249. Uh, I think noise canceling is great, a microphone works well, the other quality is meager and there are not a lot of customizations for that. My number two device, hmm, I have to go with the Galaxy Buds Plus. They are nice, they are solid, uh, Samsung has done a lot of updates. The microphone is really, really good. Uh, voice quality is great. Uh, the um, audio quality itself is actually pretty solid, but the baseline is a little low off. And there are some extra features, but not a lot. The gaming mode is really nice on that as well. But I have to give it to the Pixel Buds. Uh, they are actually really solid and some of my 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 critiques can be customized uh, via software. There's no equalizer, which I would love to see with that to maybe customize some of the audio with the headphones themselves. Uh, the ability, you know, the, the microphone actually can be customized as well. I think that just has to do with the software, but the benefits you do get is something that works really well. You've also got uh, some really great audio on there. Uh, you've got uh, wireless charging, you've got a nice looking case, uh, and you've also got you know um, ear detection. So when you take it off your ears, you stop a million and, and recognize, all three of them do, but the Pixel Bud does it really well. I think it's got a really nice balance and I would have loved to see noise cancellation on there for its price point is a little too high for that. But I think Google's added something, especially on the software side, because of the uh, built-in Google Assistant and the seamless nature it feels like. And also those notification alerts, I think work out really well. So there you have it guys, the Pixel Buds are really good. Yeah, I said it, I was, I'm surprised. I am honestly surprised. And I think they've done a good job here. Uh, I would uh, definitely love to see improvements, but if you want to pick them up, you can use our link down below. They are definitely worth it. Also the Galaxy Buds as well. And if you are keen on getting the Apple AirPods Pro using the Apple ecosystem, then go ahead and do that. We have links for all of you. Uh, don't forget to like and share. And again, if you want to win yourself an iPhone SE, use our giveaway link down below. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and Always enjoy your entertainment.